at what instant of time is the instantaneous velocity equal to the average velocity of part b okay so in the previous question we calculated the average velocity there's our average velocity and the question now is at what instant during this fall is the actual velocity the instantaneous velocity equal to 16 comma what's it 42 now you might ask but isn't that the velocity here at the end no remember we worked out average velocity average velocity is taking the initial velocity plus the final velocity and dividing it by two in other words that's probably some velocity here in the center and that's what we want to work out during after how many seconds will the velocity actually be 16.42 in the end it will be more in the beginning it will be less because 16.42 is the average so at what time is it actually the velocity that it is traveling at so let's go and work that out so what values do we have we have the initial velocity since it's a falling object is equal to zero and we also have the final velocity which we want the final velocity to be 16.42 meters per second then we have acceleration as always as 9.8 meters per second squared and this time the change in displacement we do not have because we don't know how far it is it is falling to get to this point where it has a 16.42 meters per second okay so we don't know the change in displacement um, and the change in time is actually what we're trying to work out at what instant of time now with that in mind let's go and substitute into the correct formula let's first find the correct formula so we want a formula with initial velocity future velocity acceleration and time and here we go initial velocity future velocity acceleration and time that's the correct formula let's stick it so we're using future velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus a times delta t substituting everything that we know we want this to be 16 comma 42 we want to know at what time will that occur we know initial velocity is zero change in um, velocity or acceleration is 9.8 and delta t solving for delta t we notice this zero will just vanish dividing by 9 comma 8 on both sides will then give me the time so change in time is equal to 16 comma 42 divided by 9 comma 8 and when I do that 16.42 divided by 9.8 I get 1.675 will be 7 um, 675 will become 8 seconds so after 1.68 seconds initial velocity will be equal to final velocity entering this I'm going to save you some time because I'm sure you know how to enter this by now